bogeys. <laughs> <laughs> what are we gonna be making today? We're gonna be making coconut ice, which is actually a Honeyduke's version of coconut fudge. Coconut fudge? That sounds yummy. Do you like coconut? Uh, <laughs> 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 I don't venture out very much for flavors. <laughs> <laughs> Meat and potatoes. That's, that's it. Desserts. Okay. What do we need to make coconut ice? We need two cups of granulated sugar, two cups of whole milk, two tablespoons of golden syrup or light corn syrup. We're using light corn syrup because I could not find golden syrup. Two tablespoons of butter, quarter cup of heavy cream, quarter teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Extract? Extract. Extract? Extract. <laughs> you are so freaking country. Oh my god. This is from Mexico and it is delish. One cup of ground desiccated coconut? I don't know what desiccated coconut is and I could not find it so we are going to be using shredded coconuts. It sounds horrible. Why does that sound horrible? few drops of red food coloring. To get started, we need to grease an eight inch square pan. What an excessive sprayer. Probably why yours stick to the pan and mine don't. Line it with parchment paper, allowing the paper to come up two of the sides. This will make it easy to remove the fudge and slice it. Oh, but so what is the pan doing then? Oh. <laughs> What? It's going to be a long process. What is going on here? Oh yeah. It helps yeah. hold it. Yeah. That's what a pan's for. It helps hold it. Jill, look there. <laughs> You're real proud of your I'm so excited. <laughs> Parchment situation. <laughs> Step two. Combine the sugar, milk, corn syrup, heavy cream, and salt in a large saucepan. And it says as you cook, the mixture will expand like crazy to be sure the pot is large enough. A four quart pot is a good size, but you'll still need to wash it. Step three, clip a candy thermometer to the side of the pot and continue cooking, stirring frequently. until the mixture reaches 238 degrees Fahrenheit. This whole process may take more than 30 minutes, so be patient. There will be no foolish wand waving or silly incantations in this class. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't worry if it looks curdled. It will smooth out as it thickens during the beating process. Next up, we need to take a wooden spoon. Does it have to be wooden? It says wooden. Does it matter? I don't know why it would matter. You wanna just do that? Yeah. And add the vanilla and the coconut. And you're gonna beat or stir vigorously. <laughs> it smells like marshmallows. It smells like whenever you make Rice Krispie treats. Uh, yeah, That's exactly what it smells like. like. Yeah. You might wanna enlist a friend to help with the beating. <laughs> Get in on this! <laughs> Troll bogeys. <laughs> It's on your wand too. It's on Harry's wand. Scrape half the mixture into the prepared pan and smooth the top. Add the food coloring to the remaining half and mix until the color is evenly distributed. Spread it over the first layer. Step five, cool completely before cutting into one inch squares. Store in an airtight container. The fudge keeps for several weeks. It's the next day, um, and we had some fudge complications. We did. The first time, I don't think we let uh, it get up to heat. So the second batch, I actually got carried away and heated it up too much. Starting um, to charm. Yeah. Okay, so now we are super excited to try this. Yeah. Are you really excited since it's like been quite the process? Oh yeah. Anything off the trolley's dears? Oh yeah. 
You like it? Mm-hmm. It's super creamy, very thick. It tastes like Almond Joy and white chocolate fudge met and had a baby. <laughs> <laughs> and creamy okay. coconut ice. Yeah. You feel me? Uh-huh. Mm. That's super sweet. Oh man, that's so sweet. Just like me. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe. It really helps us out a lot. Maybe even let us know what you want us to do next time. You want us to cook more in the kitchen? Do you want to cook more in the kitchen? I definitely learned a lot off of this one. You want to come out in the garage with me? Mm-hmm. No? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you later. Bye, guys.